Hello guys, and welcome back, real ass left off. We are struggling to hold back the Russians. They are practically through our entire buffer zone of Poland and Romania. They are on the border of Yugoslavia and Austria. It's not looking good. They could go into the heartland of the Iberian Pact. So, I've called this meeting of all the commanders, all the viewers, to find out a solution that we can all take. Uh, also, I don't have much time to really record at the moment, so uh, this will go up for a while, and I'll be able to get all of your opinions. This will be another vote, much like um, when I asked you to decide whether I form the Iberian Pact, whether I go with the Allies, go with the Axis, or go with the uh, common term. So, this is another decision for you all to take. And I will go with the majority, no matter what it is, if there's a majority that support it, even if it's just quit the game, you know... The majority of you want me to just quit the game, fine, you know, we'll end it here. But we'll, we'll do what you want. But here are the free options that it's open with, you know, you can discuss everything on your own. So, option number one. We stay and fight. Now, it's not unreasonable to say we can still win this. It's not looking good at the moment, and we will most likely have to fall back all the way to the Empire line before we can even mount a successful defense. And I am confident that the Empire Line will hold. It's a level 10 fortress, and not even Nazi Germany could beg through it, so... Uh, that's, that's something, you know, that they didn't even, uh, didn't even attempt to break through it. And I believe that's because they knew it would just be throwing away lives. Now, I know Russia isn't known for valuing lives that much, especially since they've been throwing quite a lot of them at me. Uh, but we should be able to hold them, even if we have to like, keep a reserve force where we just... Throw them into situations uh, where they're needed. But it can be done. We can hold the Empire Line. I'm fairly sure of that. And no one, who's to say that America just doesn't start producing nukes more often? Who's to say America doesn't become the arsenal of democracy that I loathe to say, but we need them to become? So yeah, who's to say? Especially with uh, Japan now, uh, you know, allies with us. It's possible that America can finally, you know, come full circle and help the war. And also, another operation that has been suggested is that I take all the transports, take some of my heavy hitters, you know, my tanks, uh, my uh, transports, and we, uh, by transports I mean my motorized divisions, we put them on the transports, and we take them to Korea, and we engage in Asia. I'll just uh, get this out of the way. So, we take our men, go to Korea, and then we fight all the way through here. Now, a lot of this is Russian land, as you can see here. In fact, a surprising amount is Russian land. How did that happen? Ah, right, that seems to put a, a bit of a wrench in the works. This is considered Russian territory. That's not good. It might explain why they got so many men being made every now and again. So this is apparently all Russian territory, it's not occupied, but we can still try and give it to our ally here of China. And if they get the manpower that they need, these hundred div divisions that they got like lying around here will finally get fully powered, and we ca they can push up, and we can kill them. And we can also kill uh, Mongolia at the same time, since it's pretty much one of the key victory points here. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, three. So there's three key victory points, unless that's one? No. Oh yeah, it is. So we got four key victory points. And we can land somewhere in Asia, probably along here. And we can, uh, I, I would say try and cut them off, but they would still have sea access, so we wouldn't be able to cut, off some, uh, cut them off from supplies. But we could try and just, like, uh, knock out Mongolia. And then push down. Knock out a few of them, like encircle them. And see if we can try and take Asia from them. The majority of allied forces are in Asia, so it is possible that we can win there. And then hopefully, you know, we drive them into Europe while we hold the Empire Line. Uh, hold, the, uh, hold the Empire Line. That's option one. Option two is we use all of the science that we accumulated from Germany. After we uh, went into West Germany, we found tons of Nazi laboratories. We got loads of Nazi scientists, especially from the uh, German refugees that we took in. And now we have decided it is possible to make a time machine. And with this time machine, we can go back in time to a point where we was winning the war and declare a white peace. Because I'm fairly sure there's one point or a few points in the war 
where white peace is possible. So we can go back to there and declare a white peace and keep our borders in Poland and all that stuff. So that could happen. Option number three is we go even further back in time to a point where we to the point where we didn't even declare a war on Russia and then we don't declare a war on Russia. We let them have Poland, we let them have the eastern part of Germany, we let them have pretty much Eastern Europe. And we just don't kill them. We don't try to kill them. We uh, maybe focus on America. We maybe just wait until we get nukes to fight Russia. But the point was that I declared war on Russia specifically because it was the best time to do it. All the armies were focused in Asia. And there was n there's never going to be a better chance to do it than then. But that is up to you. This is all up to you now. If you can come up with something better, you know, come up, come up with the com in the comments. Uh, if you can convince people to vote for it. Or something, so be front and center about your idea. And I will go with the majority vote. So, everything's open. Just write in the comments. With my commanders, my viewers, this is all up to you. So, go for it. Let me know. Uh, this uh, series is essentially in your hands now. Anyway. Oh, by the way, uh, since we're, if we're going to lose all of Europe, we might put them in... South America on some of the key victory points so they don't die. Uh, France will be fine in Africa, but like places like Germany, uh, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, we might throw them in uh, uh, South America so the Romans don't get killed if their country gets taken. So that's, uh, that's the plan. See how well that works out. Let me know in the comments. Like I said, I don't know when I'm going to do the next part, but uh, when I do, Go with what you want. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time, guys. Later.